today this video today is going to be a part two to my um file cabinet furniture flip as you can see i'm in my shed that i converted into a office space hold on this this right here right Ugh. okay as he decides to go and run outside the door with yet something again hold on guys uh, uh. give it here this is why you're not allowed to come in the office right there <sighs> anywho sorry about the interruption but today is a part two to the part one um if you haven't seen that video i redid some file cabinets um i'm in my shed that i created and converted into my office space um so i'll give you a little little spin around so you can see that in just a moment excuse my hair how i'm looking today is gonna be a wash day but i've had so much to do today but anyway so today is a part two to where i'm actually finishing that part one was the refinish refurbish file cabinets so there will be a link to that video the first part in the description below so you can check that out but um yeah today is part two to that so let me give you a little spin of what i've done with my office space So yeah, this is what we're looking like so far. So I am going to finish turning this into a desk. So if you're interested in seeing that process, then um, of course stay tuned to the video and we'll go ahead and get started. To start the second half of the project, I purchased these four by ones by six feet from Home Depot. I think they were around $4 and some change per piece. Um, but yeah, that's what I bought to start the top portion. And because I didn't feel like staining the wood, I just bought some regular paint from Home Depot in a spray can to actually spray my wood. This is what it looked like. It was like a dark, smoky, chocolate look. And that's exactly what I was going for. I think it turned out really good. To add the top, I wanted to make sure that it was going to have enough space for me to move around um, and to also accommodate all of my uh, machines and everything that I needed to go on top of this desk. So make sure that you measure twice and cut once, <laughs> as the old saying used to go. I used some Gorilla Glue to lock the wood in place with the pal cabinet.
here is another angle of how it turned out it was super easy um, very affordable and I love it let me know what you guys think in the comment section and I again appreciate you guys for the support have a good day y'all and I'll see you next time bye